When Palisade developed Stat Tools, it decided to create its own statistical functions for use in report formulas. Although it could have borrowed built-in Excel functions, it decided not to do so. All of these functions begin with the word stat. For example, there are simple stat tools functions such as stat mean that replaces Excel's average function and stat stdev that replaces Excel's stdev standard deviation function. There are also some functions that have no Excel equivalents such as stat Durbin Watson that is used in time series analysis. You can find a list of all StatTools functions in the StatTools help documentation. When StatTools is loaded, you can use any of these functions in Excel formulas just like you use regular Excel functions. However, you are probably more likely to just see these functions in StatTools reports. For example, I created a report for this data set to create one variable summary statistics of salary broken down by gender. The formula for the female statistics are spelled out to the right. The males are similar. These formulas are live meaning that if any of the data values change, the summary statistics will change as well. However, this live property depends on a setting that you find in the Application Settings dialog box under the Utilities dropdown. This setting right here. The default setting is live, but if you prefer to change it to static, as you might if you plan to give the file to someone who doesn't own stat tools, the reports will simply have numbers, not StatTools functions. Note that this setting is irrelevant for a few StatTools analyses, most notably regression. Its results are static regardless of the setting. 